Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right, and we left off. We had uh, just taken back Gorgoroth. I think that was the one we were fighting for, right? I, yeah, it was, it was that. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Now, we have the next fortress to defend, which is Saragost. But that is going to take a bit of work, if the last one is any indication. And take care of you. Really? It didn't let me do the other one. Oh, well. Other one? Other one. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I am a little out of practice, clearly. There we go. Now it worked. <laughs> now. Let's head over to that and then check on our army after we get there. Oh, it won't touch your lips again, huh? Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, the siege is right next to Megress. That's that's weird. Okay. Uh, let's check on the army first before we do anything. There's our overlord, Crook the Blue. Let's get everyone leveled up to 70, shall we? We have the very end to blow. Might as well. There's Crook at 65 and now 70. There we go. As long as they're in the ballpark of 70, I'm okay. There's our Pratu, the rugged. Get him up. I haven't yet done the uh, fight pits for this area. So I might eventually get to that um, later on. But right now, I figured, yeah. It's not really necessary till after the uh, after everything's settled up. There we go. Leveling up flesh lump here. There we go. And because it feels weird to leave Flesh Lump at 69, just because of the name, I'll bump him up to 70. There we go. Alright. Ermasi Blackthorn. There we go. Get him up. him where he is right now for levels. Okay. Our Hisu, the destroyer. There we go. I just noticed there was a legendary that I hadn't gotten into the uh, hierarchy yet. Ushak the Flogger, that's right. Look at him. He is fairly strong. Maybe I should move him up into there at some point. Muzu the Block. Uh, he's very useful in taking the fortress. There we go. Get one more. And perfect. Good enough. All right. And we got a number of them, but they're all relatively low level. I'm a little concerned about that. But it should be fine, right? It should be fine. 
Most of the fighting will fall on me anyway. Still, I'd rather get some levels on them. Just as an insurance policy, if nothing else. Because I could always use my assurances. There we go. Flog Kingslayer. Kingslayers are always missing an arm or a limb in some way, I've noticed. Which I find a little odd. Ah, I wonder what he gained. Oh. He has a few less weaknesses than I remember. There's that. Alright. Keep leveling him up. Go. Get him to at least 55, I think. Another change. Ah, he lost the other weakness. And he keeps gaining strengths here. Yeesh. Yeah, he's he's getting stronger the more I do this. I'm a little tempted to keep going. <laughs> Even after 55. Here we go. And one more. Ah. Nothing more after that one. That's fine. Mog the sneak. There we go. Not quite sure what he learned there. Or what he unlearned. So I'll tell you the days by stuff. That eh. weren't too bad. I think he did have a weakness disappear. Oh, uh, and he gained curse there. That I did notice. Yeah. Alright. Two more. And then we'll see how the rest of them stack up. Because I think there's a number of them that are already at 55 or 60. Yep, there's these two. Bushak's pretty close. Shag the Unstoppable is not... Bubal the Fool is good. Golm Firecaller is good. Just need to get Shag up to snuff. Who already looks pretty damn cool, so. I think it won't take too much. There we go. One more. Ought to do it. There we go. Let's look at his stats a little bit. Just has a fear of pinning. Everything else is great. Raged by betrayal. Eh, you know. Alrighty. That looks good to me. Let us do the siege. Alright. Everything else looks good. Just the way I want it. Now let's check out their side. Horza the driver. Okay. He is relatively hard to touch. Iron will. Raged by poison and curse. Ooh, boy. And he's fireproof. Alright. Well. That's a problem. Uh, Grom the Literate One. Beast Fodder. 
He's relatively easier to fuck with. Uh, douche the one. The one, you say? Oh, his armor is quite a bit gold, I notice. Exhaustion and fear of Grogs. Unbreakable. Aww. Aww. I wanted to have him join me. But I can't do that. Can't bring him to low health, though. That sucks. But fear of Grogs. We can definitely uh, exploit that. Douche the one, Takra the one and only. Okay, Doc. <laughs> okay, Takra, you're kind of. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, jeez. Takra, you're infringing on my shit. <laughs> you're infringing on my shit, Takra. Come on. Terrified of ghouls and vulnerable execution. So, between Takara and Douche, they seem to have a rivalry going on. They're, he's also unbreakable. God damn it. Alright. Horrors are the steady. Alright. Beast fodder, fear of pinning, and fear of execution. I can at least exploit that. Uh, but he is enraged by a lot of things. Hmm, that might be a problem. And another Takara. This one is the Enforcer. Vulnerable to stealth and exhaustion. Okay. Yeah, relatively okay. Alrighty. This one might be quite a bit of a fight, actually. We'll have to see uh, how it goes. With each year, the shadow takes its toll. But you remain, and so does hope for Middle Earth. Save yourself some trouble and fall on your own sword. It'll be a lot less painful than watching us seize this fortress. Little cocky, aren't you? Well, luckily, you're also the easy killer, so I can make an example out of you. All right, let's do. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just get rid of you. That fort doesn't belong to you. But this high gouger has your name all over it. Well it's new it all do it. Hi there, Noah. You're an interesting fellow. Okay, we're underneath the grab right now. That <laughs> can't be good. Uh you know what? We're gonna use you. As a bit of fodder on the outside here. Got your service, your chosen, your chosen. Well, thank you for that. I'm gonna stay here and fight for you. Keep the guts. Well, you'll definitely be able to do that. Well, the knower is gone. Ah, unfortunate. But oh well. Oh jeez, fuck you. Who's this guy? Oh, this is one of the only people. The one and the only people. Clearly. That's how that works. Ow. Okay. Get rid of you. And you. Ow. Ow. Okay. Shadow and flame! Okay, wait a minute. It just strikes me that he's not one of the, uh... He's not one of the main war chiefs, so is there... Some goofiness? 
going on? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's following my movements very closely. Oh! Okay, well, that was... That was very close. Oh, jeez. Come on, let me hit him at least a couple times. Ow. Okay. These guys are extremely stronger than I anticipated. Okay, Flock, the only one dead by a headshot. Okay. Okay, well, the other one's retreating, that's fine. Considering how hard they are to kill, I'm not going to mind all that much. Okay, well, I did not mean to be hitting him. There we go. Okay. Cause some terrorize. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's about to get a lot warmer. Is it? Okay. So that might be the <laughs> might be a bit of the gimmick between him, Takara, and. A couple of their bodyguards. They're just hyping themselves up as, like, the cool guys. <laughs> Which, to admit, they kind of are. And, uh... <laughs> making them seem extremely... Uh... <laughs> extremely... Bigger in the Uruk scene than they might actually be. But then again, they are pretty strong. Okay. Rage by Karagors. Okay. Being a curse. So he's not good against poison. Let's introduce my blade. The self same one, huh? It seems my theory seems to be running true right now. Okay. Okay. Here's where the problems begin. Okay. Oh. Oh. He's just, uh... Oh! Gund is dealt with. Okay, well, where's that? The other one. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. You. Yours. You. Okay. There we go. Get some damage on you. You're squatting in our property. Now, if anything, you're just assaulting mine. We're yeah. going to lop off all your fleshy oh, parts. The then, starting on the bony bits. <laughs> My God, this guy is just brutal. Eh, it's not like he's particularly strong, but he is a cool design. And armor and everything else. I might just bring him on just for that alone. Alright. There we go. And take care of you. Okay. Okay. Oh. There we go. Wanted to make sure I got him before he died. This was the scorpion. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And he has the same sort of setup as, uh, the ones. <laughs> the ones and onlys and other ones. 
Yeah. I like him. Let's recruit him. You should be. Now you're gonna stay and fight for me. That's good to me. Whoop. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh! Didn't realize there was a guy next to me over here. Don't know who this guy is. But I'm gonna deal with him. Okay. Doing good so far. Oh, boy. Well, so much for the literate one. Well. Oh, well. Come on. Whoa, he is very mad. Okay. Get rid of you. Once and for all. There we go. I wonder, can we also use you as fodder? Slayer counter. That explains why he was able to avoid my execution from the front. Gang of defenders. Enraged by frost. That explains why he was enraged real quick. Use you. Sounds good to me. All right. Okay. Let's look at you. See what you got going on. Luca Metal Beard. Fear of execution. Well. I don't really need you. Fight over and me defeated. Uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, look! Alright, well. Do another execution to get him dazed. Whoop! Okay. Alright! Beautiful! Decapitated! Alright. There we go. Start working on you. Perfect. Where'd our other guy go? Well, goodbye, Hosh Grish the Torch. Where'd our scorpion guy go? I wonder. I wonder if it'll still show me the uh, stuff even now. Uh, show level. Did he die? Oh, I must have died. Because I'm not seeing him. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. What can you do? Hi there. Boobar slave lover now gone. Fine. Hi there, Takra. Yes? Well, you have me here. Alrighty. You have I'm going to cut you deep. Oh. <laughs> Take Pick where you want to bleed out. <laughs> yeah, stuck in his head. And so much for you. Perfect. Perimeter breach. Shit. Okay. Ow. Okay, let's deal with him. Perfect. Douche the one purified. Okay. And bam. I figured you'd be enraged. That's fine with me. Ow. <laughs> he got killed by it anyway. 
Okay. Come on, let me get over you. There we go. Perfect. Okay. As long as I can get damage on you, that's fine. And he's gone. Oh! Oh! Not bad, Hura! The driver is now defeated. Victory! There was someone who was knocked down, and I was gonna head over to them. Oh, hey! Peace in death. Complete the Shadow Wars. Oh, so I'm done with the epilogue. Region defended. Stage complete. Talion held back the forces of darkness for decades. But the Dark Lord's ring had a will of its own. It is over. Together, we will turn towards Middle Earth. I popped on my computer now. Talion finally fell and joined the night. In the years that followed, the One Ring was found. The newest of the Nazgul traveled with his brothers to the Shire in pursuit of the new ring bearer. And then... After decades of war, darkness gave way to light. A new fellowship and an unlikely hero. Death came. Death to Sauron. Death to his dominion. And death to Talion. Who walked out of darkness and found freedom. And that's the end of the game. I had no idea that the game's end, official end, would be so close. And, uh...
I can't say that it feels satisfactory. You know what I mean? And because it felt so short, you know? But, uh, other than that, does seem like a, uh, you know, the ending that Talion would have wanted. The sort of ending that you kind of hope for for him. But, uh, feels a little narratively weak. Feels to me. And I know that's just me on the outside looking in, not really sure what the thought process was in the whole writing of the script. Uh, and what I can glean from what I've played. I mean, it led to this point where eventually he was going to fall, and that it was just going to not end well for him once the actual movies concluded which apparently this was set apparently decades according to that ahead of that so it wasn't in the same time frame that I was thinking it was the entire course of this game and the game before it was long before the movies but feels like the kind of... <sighs> kind of ham-fisted that ending a little bit. Don't it? Don't it feel a little bit like that? Just to make it a happy ending for Talion? Because, I mean, he fell. He fell and joined Sauron eventually. Which begs the question, do the rest of them get that sort of release after their death? After the death of Sauron? Do the rest of those tricked by him have that sort of release? Which, if that's the case, I guess that's good. But... It's not really narratively explained. Because, I mean, how would you explain him knowing that for the rest of them? So I guess it's not as bad as my brain keeps telling me it might be. But, I, I don't know. Still something in the back of my mind that says this lead-up is not satisfying, you know? I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's because I'm just tired, haven't had enough coffee, something like that. I don't know. But I mean, the ride was good. The ride of the game was very good, I'll give it that. It just, the payoff at the end feels a little lackluster to me. And I can't put my finger on why. Maybe eventually it'll come to me, but right now, I don't know. Maybe because it feels so sudden. Because the end game felt short. Maybe that's it. Felt like you didn't really accomplish decades worth of work. That might be it. That might be a good portion of it. Anyway, with all that said, this game is good. 
a lot of the systems that plagued the early version of the game, you know, the gold and loot boxes and all of that, have been changed significantly. Which is great. And if you have not bought this and intend on playing it, I highly suggest you do. Because how the Nemesis system works is so highly variable that you are absolutely not going to have exactly the same experience as I am. I have. <laughs> and, uh... Who knows? Maybe you'll get cooler guys than I did. Eh? It's always a possibility. Anyway. I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And, uh, if there's anything stinger at the end of the credits or whatnot, I'll show it. Uh, near the end of it. But for now... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and uh, trying to appreciate the ride that we just had with Shadow of War and everything that we went through in it, including that clutch, uh, no chance save from a Graug at the end. And uh, <laughs> Spawn of War. <laughs> Appreciating some of the goofiness in the credits for you.